there's there's going to come a time when when the people who have been forced to live in a politically correct world and have done everything that they're supposed to do and watch your language and watch this and do that and you can't say this you can't be that there's going to come a time when the when the public is just going to say I'm not living in your politically correct world, and I don't care anymore. I know I'm there. I don't care anymore. You want to do it? You want to call me? Whatever, call me whatever you want. I don't care. This president, I think, has exposed himself as a guy over and over and over again who has a deep-seated hatred for white people or the white culture. I don't know what it is. SEIU, by the way, is known for their threatening uh, tactics where they, where they go after uh, companies, almost in the way the uh, Jesse Jackson organization used to go and, and scare companies into doing things. Can we please play the tape of the Black Panthers um, in Philadelphia that this administration has not has decided not to pursue they were intimidating people um, there if that's not intimidation we're talking about an army now being built by our our uh, president we also have let me go Louis Farrakhan please play the video of Louis Farrakhan and that is why Barack has captured the youth when the Messiah speaks Okay, then one last. We have been looking for two weeks for connections on this. We can't find anything. They've sealed this story down as tight as a drum. Listen to what they're saying. Remember this from the, um, from the election? And we all thought it was nuts. I mean, what is this? But look how these guys are dressed. Military. Because of Obama, I am inspired to be the next doctor. Because of Obama, I am inspired to be the next lawyer. Because of Obama, I am inspired to be the next doctor. Because of Obama, I am inspired to be the next lawyer. Because of Obama, I'm inspired to be the next automotive technician. I'm the next chef. Architect. Engineer. Next bar. Next architect. Chemical engineer. Entrepreneur. Yes, we can! Embrace the words of our past, now we know the victims of our past. Yes, we can! Take full responsibility for our whole lives. Yes, we can! I am not suggesting that the President of the United States or anybody in this government has anything to do with the Black Panthers, with Louis Farrakhan, or th this group here. We're talking about an army now being built by our, our uh, President, a civilian national force. But this is a... that was a very militant looking group. The Black Panthers are very militant looking, and they are militant. Pat, what, what, what is, well, what is happening say, here? Uh, a Republican poll observer uh, actually called the police. Dude, you got my back? Yeah. Hi, I'm here at 1221 Fairmount in Philadelphia, and there's a guy with a billy club right here. Um, uh, but that person who called the police uh, is here. Well, as I walked up to the door, we got a phone call that there was intimidation going on. And so as I walked up to the door, two gentlemen in Black Panther guard, one of them brandishing a nightstick, standing immediately in front of the door. As I walked up, they closed ranks next to each other. So, do we have any problems here? What's going on? Everything okay? Everything's fine. I'm, I'm just making sure. I'm here. I'm just a media guy, and that's all I'm doing. 
I'm with the University of Pennsylvania. No, who are you with? Sorry. Uh, no, I'm an Army veteran. That doesn't scare me. So I walked directly in between them, went inside and found the poll watchers. They said they've been here for about an hour, and they told us not to come outside uh, because a black man is going to win this election no matter what. Yeah, okay. I mean, I think they know about it already. I mean, I'm not, I have a poll watcher certificate so I can go inside. I was wondering why you come up taking pictures. I mean, we're, what? I'm just wondering why everybody's taking pictures. So as I came back outside to see, the nightstick turns around and says, you know, we're tired of white supremacy. And uh, it starts tapping the nightstick in his hand, at which point I said, okay, we're not going to get in a fist fight here. And I called the police. Okay. I mean, no, 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 I think it might be a little bit intimidating that you have an, a stick in your hand. That's why. You know? Yes. No, 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 I'm an attorney. I mean, that's a weapon, so that's why I'm a little worried. I mean, I am a concerned citizen, and I'm just worried that you might be... In okay. Okay, but you have a nightstick in your hand. I mean, I have a camera phone, which is not a weapon. He has a billy club in his hand. The first time I've heard of Black Panthers uh, being stationed outside of porn places. Now, the person, the one gentleman who's still here. He is a poll watcher, and he lives, and he lives in this building. <laughs> right. So he has every right to stand there. Sure, and he can wear whatever he wants. Yeah. The other, the other person, the other Black Panther, uh, was not, or, and is not allowed to be standing here with a nightstick in his hand. Right. Well, you can't stand with a nightstick anywhere. Uh, a nightstick is a weapon, and you know, obviously, you can't stand with a weapon tapping it menacingly in your hand. instruments that God is going to use to bring about universal change. You, you can't sit in a pew with Jeremiah Wright for 20 years and not hear some of that stuff and not have it wash over. This is probably the most controversial uh, show of the week because you must understand the last three episodes of this show uh, to be able to see and and come to a place to where you can believe that these crazy things may actually be happening. The problem is there's so much going on that you talked about, we've talked about these connections of people, and I keep saying but, but people in my own party better pay attention because, you know, I, I hope it's not the president. I think that he's literally being sabotaged. He's, there's somebody else driving another bus here. I don't care anymore. You want to do it? You want to call me? Whatever, call me. Whatever you want. I don't care.